So, I want to talk about something today a little bit off uh, my normal subject, but here's a reality. Some people are just looking for a fucking excuse to protest and bitch and complain about shit. Okay? So, you know, in the last week, there's been protests all over New York City because some cop choked some guy out. So here's your fucking reality. Number one, cops are not trained to do and deal with that shit. Right? There's 34,500 uniform NYPD. I don't know how many... Pr- uh, Plain clothes ones there are, 34,500. What they need to know to defend themselves is politically incorrect. So all your fucking protesters with your bullshit and your political correctness, that's what's created. It's a backlash. The average the average police hand-to-hand combat instructor probably knows a little bit of Taekwondo and nothing else. It's useless. So this is why. This is why I end up training SWAT guys, ESU guys, Homeland guys, in private, and they pay out their own pocket. Why? Because they need to know this stuff. They're not allowed to know because they're scared for their fucking lives. And that's the reality, and they all tell me the same shit. When you're up against some guy that's loaded on some, who fucking knows what drug it is, and they're throwing around, you know, a hundred pound guy throwing around five cops. They're scared for their lives, these guys. So last week there was a stabbing. A stabbing. And people asked me, what would you have done? Well, number one, I would have been situationally aware enough to know not to let the guy in the building. Number one. And number two, all these people are thinking about defending themselves, are still thinking about learning how to defend themselves. They don't do a fucking thing. So, you know, right now, I'm wandering around the park on my own with a camera, and some people could think that maybe a little bit dodgy in Brooklyn. I don't give a shit. I know how to do this stuff. But here's a situation. The cops are scared. You pull a knife and lunge at a cop and he's got a gun in his hand, there is no thought process involved. So if you're doing something wrong, whether it's selling looses, single six, you guys that don't know, selling looses, or lunging around with a gun. If you're doing something wrong and you get caught, you resist. It's your own fucking fault. Okay? You got caught, put your fucking hands up. And this also, the flip side of this, and this is the point of my story here. The flip side of this is people are sheeple. We are indoctrinated to do as we're told. Now, if you're not doing anything wrong, you better know your rights. You better know where you stand. You better know what's up. Okay, if you're not doing anything wrong. And this just... (laughs) I'm laughing about this story. This reminds me of something that happened. And this is is why this has come about. My uh, my wonderful friend... I won't tell you where he is. Might be a giveaway. uh, Had a situation with the cops. And he stood his right. And the cops... One of them turned out to be an asshole. But he stood by his rights and walked away but he knew his shit so that's <laughs> fuck I'm still laughing that same friend we were driving and that this story this by the way as a waiver this story may be what I may have made this one up I may not I may have but as a waiver I'm good so we may have been driving down the Danforth and we'll call him Greeny that's not his real name but we'll call him Greeny and um, <laughs> I'm about 22, 23, I guess about 23 years old. I was doing okay, brand new Lincoln Town Car, which was like hip at the time, I guess. And, you know, we had a job then where we used to wear suits and ties. It's insane these days, but we used to wear suits and ties. We're driving down Greek Town in Toronto, the Danforth, down on the Danny. We're driving, and some guy's like right behind me. So I start slowing down. And this guy's still right behind me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So I slow down even more. And I slow down and slow down. And then all of a sudden, boom, stop. And with there was no <laughs> There was no There was no words, there was no nothing. This may have happened. Both Greeny and I burst out the doors. Now figure this out. He's this guy's like six foot tall, 
looks like a frigging detective, dressed like one. We burst out the doors, there's some rednecks or something in a pickup truck behind us. And uh, <laughs> we burst out the doors. I have no idea how this came about. We, we, there may be an alcohol involved. And uh, all of a sudden, Greeny just goes, get out of the fucking car. And I don't know what he flashed at them. Might have been his fucking bus pass or something. I don't know. He flashed. He pulled something out of his pocket. Get out of the fucking car. Anyway, <laughs> the next minute, these guys are spread over the hood of the fucking pickup truck. Don't fucking move. Where's your ID? <laughs> we get the ID off them. Okay, don't fucking move. We get back in the town car drive off I'm looking in the rear view mirror maybe I'm looking in the rear view mirror and these guys like I'm like we're like fucking 500 yards down the road these guys are still spread over the hood we just throw their IDs out the fucking window and drive off maybe maybe it happened maybe it didn't fuck but people even when they're not doing wrong if you're doing right know your rights if you're doing wrong well you know what you fucking deserve it and that's the end of this. So, from Brooklyn, walking down here, doing the right thing. Adios.